I bought the outlet panel for my EV cars. It comes with NEMA 1450, NEMA TT30 and GFCI NEMA 520 outlets and 3 corresponding circuit breakers. There are spaces for 4 more breakers, so I added another one to control my garage door. At the price, with everything I need, I would strongly recommend it to everyone. This box is the best bargain for the money. The only thing I would change about the box, which I did, is that the neutral and ground bars are extremely small. I went to one of the local big box stores and purchased new neutral and ground bars and installed both. I did find that I had to cut the neutral bar length to match the slot that it fits into but once I did that it snapped in perfectly. One of the main reasons I really like this box is that it leaves a few extra open slots on the left side of the bus bars to add additional breakers. This is a really nice option and provides some flexibility. I found that I needed some extra space in the ground bar when I did this because the ground bar is simply not large enough for the additional grounds. In my area these are the same exact boxes that are used at the local state campgrounds. I ran aluminum 2224 to the box for 100 amp service even though I would never use all 100 amps at same time. This box is pre-wired with receptacles and breakers. It has a 50 amp breaker on the 50 amp RV240 stroke 120 V4 wire socket. There is a 30 amp breaker on the 30 amp RV120 volt 3 wire socket. There is a 20 amp breaker on the 20 amp duplex GFCI receptacle. The weatherproof lid covers the entire front and there is enough room with it closed for the cables to exit the bottom between the door and panel front. More breaker slots are available for additional circuits, but there's probably only room for one more major socket to be added, and you must be able to cut any hole required for that. Feed power into top, back, bottom, or sides. I have added a photo of the TL137 US as received. <laughs>